An emergency is no time for on-the-job training. It is recommended that you familiarize yourself with the contents of this video. The emergency response kit, recommended practices, and installation procedures before an emergency occurs. This video is not a substitute for in-depth training or specific handling techniques or emergency response procedures. In the event of a leaking valve or fitting, it is critical that appropriate steps be taken immediately to mitigate the leak. Anyone involved in capping a leak should follow their company's procedures and manufacturer's material safety data sheets, MSDS, regarding personal protective equipment. Note that in the event of an actual tank car leak, you would be required to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. For purposes of this video demonstration, the participants are only wearing minimal safety equipment. Next, we will examine stopping leaks from gauging devices. If the leak is coming from beneath the flange mounting, tighten the stud nuts down alternately, one, three, two, four. If the leak originates underneath the protective cap that is threaded to the top of the body, further tighten the cap with the appropriate wrench. Warning, do not remove the protective cap from a leaking magnetic gauging device under any circumstances. Doing so may cause the device to be ejected from the car under force. Next, we will examine stopping leaks from sample valves. The sample valve, which is located above the cover plate, usually consists of a nipple and a needle valve. If the leak is coming from the nipple, use the pipe wrench to further tighten it to the cover. There may be a leak between the nipple and the needle valve. Tightening the hex body of the needle valve may stop the leak. Next, we will examine stopping leaks from thermo wells. If the thermo well is leaking at the three-quarter inch pipe thread connection on the cover plate, use the pipe wrench to tighten the connection. Another potential leak path is below the hex cap at the top of the fitting. Further closing of this cap may stop the leak. Caution, do not remove the hex cap if this is where the leak is coming from, because the cap's removal could escalate the incident. 